Hi, in this screencast we're going to show you how to um, mask out text to give it the effect of handwriting. It's um, quite a, a tedious um, procedure, but one that can give you some nice effects without having to buy into the uh, third party plugins. So what you do, you've got your text on the, the timeline. We'll select event pan crop. We're already quite a way down here. Uh, we've just got the word Vegas typed and we've gone through the, um, the SAGE. We've actually gone backwards. Um, we've done this so that we can just monitor the keyframe situation down here. So if we take a, a quick look, we'll uh, zoom in a little bit. We can see the Bezier mask. Now like I said to you before, this is slightly rough and really needs to be done a little bit more accurately. But if we um, select some of the keyframes down here, you can see what we're doing. So we're working backwards here as we said, so we're masking out certain areas and then moving on. So we'll uh, we'll show you how this is done now and what we're doing. We'll select the anchor creation tool and we'll create another keyframe. And we're now going to work on the, the V. We'll blow this up so we can work with it a little bit easier. Just move this up a little bit so we know where we are. Right, so we now select the anchor creation tool and just start making some selections and placing the anchor points. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have this set the mode to negative because we just want, um, as soon as you see it go negative, so effectively we're, we're, this isn't visible any longer when you're positive it's visible the highlighted area when it's negative the highlighted area is non-visible so now what we need to do is we just if we can if you click on one of these anchors we'll just place another one there you can use your keyframe uh, your keyboard arrow backwards just moving them around can give you some nice control over it and as you can see here we can move it down a little bit and then just say we wanted to take it out on a little angle come back on this one, we'll go out and down same with this one higher than this one, using the arrow key on your keyboard we'll just jump forward now so that you don't have to um, watch me do this in real time. You can see here now if you just use your keyboard um, arrow keys you can take this out and then just use the uh, left and right keys to align it and bring it right up to the top there. Um, so you can manipulate the Bezier mask quite comfortably within this tool. Um, something that um, just a little bit of playing with um, will, will work no ends. As you see now we've just lined this, one, this line up here and if we come back to this this keyframe, you just click on it, it's the anchor move that one out of the way and then we'll use this one and then we'll pass this one and we'll just go straight up and if you can see we're going in straight lines, obviously there's no curves within the uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard but what you, you can do is use your up key here and because you've got your anchor point placed below this if you use your left key now it just basically brings it out into a straight line and lines it up with this um, particular V. Um, we'll place another keyframe in here and we're pretty much done. Just place one more anchor point in there and then go back to it. Sometimes if you're a bit close you can just bring this anchor point back and highlight that top one again. And then we'll just take this right to the top. across slightly. Like I say there are a lot of third party tools out there that can be used um, which are you know the, the main purpose of the of that particular software is is to be able to create uh, handwriting text and, and other visual sort of text uh, formats but within Vegas using the Bezier mask tool it's, um, it's possible as well. So that's has got that masked out now we can just take a quick look within the preview window, we'll make it a little bit bigger just go draft full and we'll just press the, uh, we'll keep it on loop so you can see 
so it's it's not perfect but it's uh, a little bit of work a bit of effort and like I say being a little bit closer and a bit tidier on the um, on the bezier mask itself you can see that you can get the um, the effect that you're looking for this is another screencast from learningvegas.com